Good morning, everybody. Okay, so for a while there, um, most people know that ARs don't stack. I'm going to explain that exactly what that means um, to people who are newer to the game or honestly have never heard the term. But for a while there, before Scopely had all these issues and half our games got shut down and et cetera, et cetera, um, ARs were stacking. So I've been paying attention, really paying attention to the game. Now, a few things I saw last night and a few things are not there today. So just so you see, I'm going to pick Carly as my ally. And the reason why is because she's going to give me 65% defense for three turns. And I have in my team Ezekiel, who also gives 80% attack and 40% defense. So I wanted two of the same you know, somewhere along the lines. So I'm choosing her real quick. Just a normal level, just so everyone's aware. No big deal. Just 7-1. I'm just farming. And I've been, like I said, I've been just watching as things are changing. My game updated again yesterday. Went into beta. There's nothing there. So basically what Scopely is doing is working out a shit ton of bugs that they keep doing by trying to add more things. Now I have a few videos to upload today. I'm sorry I didn't get it done the other day. I do apologize, but they're all coming today. So um, let's, I want to show you how this is. Now, first of all, I've never noticed this before, but if you see on my Ezekiel, he's a leader. There's a crown on his head. I said it to my husband the other day when I noticed it, and he's like, oh, it's been there forever. I don't know how long that's been there, but it's been there for some time, apparently. Or my game just sucks because I had serious itch issues so far, scopely. Well, they screwed my whole faction. Poor Hawk got knocked way down. Um, half of us got locked out of the game. It wouldn't load during war. It was awful. So, so far they've given me two war cans, 200 coins, one world energy refill, and one raid en energy refill. And they think that's good enough, even though I couldn't try for the two times on a shield, etc. I lost our top placing in war, lost our placing in raids, and we were down for weeks. It was awful. But anyway, so I don't know if this just happened on my game. According to my husband, it's been there a while. So I just, it just popped up on mine um, two days ago when it updated and then it updated again this morning. So if you haven't noticed, there's a crown on your leader to show where your placement goes. Um, and then, of course, you know, this is how it is in your rates, too. Your leader's always in the middle and then you've got, you know, the one, the left side and the right side. And they're always lined up accordingly with like Michonne and Rick are over here. Negan and Lori are on the other side. Always, always, always. Except for, of course, they're facing the other way. So I want to show you this. And right now it's just normal farming until I can get everyone's ARs to pop. Because like I said, we had that glitch where the ARs were stacking. And everyone has always hoped that Scopely was going to do that, stack the ARs. And what that means is that when, if you have a defense buff or an attack buff or a crit buff, like Rick, he's my crit buff, that you will have that additional. So it will add up. Now, it does do that with your weapons, and it does do that, obviously, with your leaders and your allies when you bring them in. Your leader skill will apply to whoever it says it will apply to, etc., etc. All right, so just so we're aware, I want to show you guys this. Rick, his uh, AR, we call it, Adrenaline Rush, is all teammates get 30% crit for three turns. All right, so the defense buffs that I want to do, here's Ezekiel. Now, he does 80% attack and 40% defense for two turns. Now, she does 65% for three turns. Now, this is what I've noticed. Um, go ahead and let Ezekiel go out. So now you can see I have 80% and 40% defense. So 80% attack, 40% defense. Now watch this. Now it has 80% attack and 65% defense. It is always going to go with the higher defense. Always, always, always. Um, 
that it, or the higher attack or whatever the buff is, the higher crit, they don't stack on top of each other. So it didn't turn into, you know, 105% defense. It just went to hers. Now, on top of that, what I just saw happen, and I wish I would have recorded it on the last term I was doing, was I had a crit leader or a crit ally, and that crit ally did... Um, 65% crit and then when I used it on top of each other it canceled or when hers ran out it canceled Rick's AR quicker now see two turns and it's gone so you saw and where I'm going to show it to you guys again he has more out of space obviously with the stages And if you hear my kids, sorry, they're not behaving this morning. <laughs> they're supposed to be doing their daily chores that are super simple. And, you know, heaven forbid they feed the animals that we have. But, you know. All right. So we go in here, like I said, and I want to find somebody who has a buff that I can apply it to. 45% attack. That will work. All right, so Ezekiel has attack and defense. So once we get these AR, ARs to go off, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. And hopefully it will be different. All right, so again, Ezekiel, here he is. 80% attack, 40% defense for two turns. No, oh, he's two turns too. That sucks. Anyways, if you were to, if you shut, send them off at the same time, and one is for three turns and one is for four turns, the three turns is going to take it, take, it will turn, it will go down on the lower rank, which makes no damn sense to me whatsoever. And this is helpful, not only for, I mean, for the game, honestly, if you're new, then this is super helpful. But anyone else who's, you know, been playing since day one, this isn't going to help you a ton. But building your teams for your defense, for your raid team, it's crucial. Because when their ARs go off is never when they're supposed to go off. I've noticed that nine times out of ten, the way you want your team to work, is not how Scopely will play your team when that happens. So again, here we go. You see 40%, 80%. Now it's 40, 80, 40, 80. What is that? It's supposed to be 45. Well, you just saw a couple minutes ago that went up to the next one, and now it didn't do that. So obviously, Scopely is having some glitches. Normally, though, as this is going to work, again, let me you know explain it, is that when you're playing and you set up your defense team, which we're going to go look at right now. I don't have a great defense team up right now, but it's fine. It will do. And I do have Ezekiel up for a drop character, so. All right. So, right now Ezekiel's up. Like you saw, he gives the 80% and 40% defense. Morgan gives 70% defense for three turns. His rush is fast, 56. Ezekiel's is fast, 58. What do you think the chances are of these two going off at the same time? Pretty damn high. That's what I mean by your team doesn't, Scopely doesn't auto play your team the way that you would play it if you were to take this team in and attack someone else. Um, what this does essentially is they'll both go off at the same time, wasting one of their defense buffs, and the higher one will win without a doubt, which is Morgan. It will go to 70%, and it will go for. Instead, it will go for two turns instead of the three turns because they will go if they go off at the same time. That's just a little bit of help on understanding how AR 
buffs work. It works the same way with crit, attack, and defense. So it's going to choose the higher the higher defense or the higher attack or the higher crit, but it's going to go the shortest amount of time. So when you're building your raid teams, that's what you need to pay attention to. And then it's always helpful to have some friends in the game raid you, see how it goes, and go from there. But it, I found it quite interesting when it came to farming, how quickly this is going away. And let's see if I can find someone else that we can show this and see if it will work better. Two turns. Yeah, I love Negan, but that's not going to help. And of course I've used, well, let's see. He's three turns. So let's take Morgan in because Ezekiel, he's two turns, right? All right, so let's do that. Sorry, I exited out. Imperfect person here. It happens. All right, so we're going to take Morgan in. And again, I'm going to show you how this works, just so we really understand it. I know it can get complicated, especially I have a lot of people new to the game asking questions, wanting to know stuff. And um, I'm trying to elaborate the best I possibly can so you guys follow it. Because trust me, I needed this help when I first started to, believe it or not, most anyone who's a gamer probably can tell, but I'm not a gamer. I never played games until this game came out. I'm a hardcore fan of the show and the comics. My entire house is The Walking Dead, and I'm not over exaggerating at all. Um, and then when the game came out, of course, you know they advertised on the show for it, and I couldn't wait. I was so excited, and so was my husband and my oldest son. And so we started playing it as a family, and then it just became, you know, a big thing in our lives, and here we are. So I've learned a lot through other people, like Walking, Jacob. Um, they really guided me and helped me. Some things I used to do were insane, just absolutely insane. And then, you know, we can look back and laugh about it now, but without their help, I wouldn't know half of what I know, if not all of what I know. So, you know, it's really important to find good people and make sure you're doing it well. So that's why it ultimately we made a YouTube channel, you know, to help Hawk, to cut down on training time and talking about, you know, this kind of stuff and them seeing it because visually people learn much better that way. And then on top of that, to reach all of you, because there's so many people that are on this game that aren't gamers that play the game because they love the comics and they love the television show or just because of the television show. So this that's where the idea came from. All right, so we see we're ready. Let's go back to this. So I'm going to do here's two turns, okay? So we can see the 80 and the 40. It's going to change. There's the 70 and the 40. 70, 30, 80, 70. Okay, so sorry. That's the 80% attack, 70% defense, 30% crit. That's where we're at right now. Now, if this works, it should only last two turns or two waves or whatever, or whatever you want to call it. Two times of going through it. So let's see what happens. Seventy percent is sticking, and it's gone. All right, so that technically lasted three full attacks. Now you saw just a couple minutes ago. You can go backwards in this video, and see that it didn't work that way on the last one or the first one. So Scopely's having some issues. Can I tell you which way it's going to go? No. History has proven though that the ARs don't stack that it does go by the highest one chosen, which we are seeing that, but that it is having problems when it, it's going to, more times than not, the lower count. So if it's supposed to be for two turns, it's going for two turns on the first one. So bottom line is, guys, just be careful when you're doing your defense teams, when you're going in there, especially when you're going after zombie teams. And you're trying to um, 
went on these survival roads that are getting very, very hard. The all yellow ones are, oh God, they're hard. But if you keep going, keep going, keep going, and you pay attention to what you're doing, just pay attention to your attack and defense buffs and how many turns it's supposed to go through. And if it's not working, if you're seeing what I'm seeing on your game, and again, it could just be mine. Honestly, I've had a lot of problems. Um, you should see the list of complaints I have. If I could go into that screen and show you, I would. Um, and that's why I've been compensated so much. So it could be my game in a couple of other games. And I know beta people are having major problems. So, and I'm one of, I'm in beta as well. So just check it out. Just make sure and understand though that they don't stack. That's the bottom line and the whole point of this video. Now we can see that Scopely's doing, th it just did three different things with the stacking. You know, we had one that it went longer, one that didn't go longer, and one that pretty much canceled itself up. So when you have your defense, the defense is not going to add together. So if you have two characters that you want to put in a team like Morgan, 70% defense, and Ezekiel, 40% defense, that's not going to make 110% defense. It's only going to go 70% defense. Same thing with attack. Here's Maggie. She has 75% attack. When her air goes off, if it goes off with Ezekiel, we're not going to have, you know, 100 and... I can't even do the math right now. My kids are yelling. I'm getting a little irritated. But um, they, they are not going to pile together. What I think she was 75 and 80 percent. So that's not going to happen. It's just not going to turn into you know 155 percent. I think it is attack. Know that it's always going to go at the higher one. So in this case, it would choose the 80 percent attack over Maggie's 75 percent attack. And then the same thing goes with it's going to be 70% or defense over the 40% defense. And then the same thing goes with crit. Um, I don't know anyone out here. So here's Eugene, 15% attack or plus 15 crit. And then he does plus 30 crit. It's not going to be 45 crit if they both were to go off at the same time. It's going to be just the 30. All right. So that is explaining how the buffs work. We call them AR buffs. That's what we're talking about. When you hear someone saying AR buff, that is a, a buffer, a booster of defense, attack, or crit. So I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm going to do one now on Survival Road after I yell at my children for not following the rules. Have a good one and thanks again for watching.